Gary Johnson did a town hall on MSNBC last night, and he really struggled to hit a softball down the center of the plate. Who's your favorite foreign leader? Who's my favorite? Any, just name anywhere in the country, any one of the continents, any country. Name one foreign leader that you respect and look up to. Anybody. Mine was Shimon Peres. No, no, okay, I'm talking about living. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do this anywhere, any continent. Canada, Mexico, Europe, over there, uh, Asia, South America, Africa, name a foreign leader that you respect. I guess I'm having an Aleppo moment in the former, former president of Mexico. But I'm giving Mexico. you the whole world. I know, I know. I know Anybody I know. in the world you like. Anybody. Pick any leader. The former president now, of Mexico. Which one? I'm, I'm having a brain. I'm well, having name a brain anybody. Fox. The Fox. Fox. Okay, who's your Thank favorite you. foreign Thank leader? You. Get him off the hook. Name a foreign Fox. leader you respect. He was, he was terrific. Any foreign leader? Uh, Merkel. Okay, Merkel. Okay, fine. Save yourself. Can't argue with that. Yeah, that that was pretty sad. <laughs> you could almost see the wheels turning, and he's like, Gary, think of a foreign leader. Anyone will do. And he's like, ah, the former president of Mexico? He's like, which one? Um, see, what had happened was... And then he's like, Fox, Fox, Fox. Okay, he is so lucky, so lucky that Chris Matthews didn't go... What's his first name? Oh. Oh. Bill Weld would have had to jump in again and be like, Vincente, Vincente. That's what it is, Vincente. And Gary's like, oh yeah, totally, no, I was just about to say that, but then he beat me too, what am I going to do? <laughs> Don't, I hope nobody's watching this. So people are calling this another Palin moment. Some people who are big-time defenders of him are like, that was a gotcha question. That was a gotcha question. Name your favorite foreign leader. Anybody? He's like, okay, no, just name, now just name any leader. <laughs> he's like, you move the goalposts for him. All right, who's your favorite uh, foreign leader, living foreign leader? And then he's like, he's struggling with it. He's like, okay, just name any leader. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, mm, mm, yeah. Hmm. Can I take a rain check on this? <laughs> I'm having an Aleppo moment. For those of you who don't know, that's when Gary Johnson, uh, he famously didn't know what Aleppo is. <laughs> and that's, I mean, look, yeah, that's that's fairly unforgivable. If you're running for president, you got to know what Aleppo is, especially since it's been in the news a lot recently because, you know, we're the war in Syria is out of control and it's been going on for a long time and it's just been in the news endlessly. So that does kind of show that you're like not all that interested in reading the news and staying up on this stuff when you absolutely should. Now, again, I don't want anybody to misunderstand me because, <laughs> I mean, it, in doing this segment, I feel like a lot of people who attack Gary Johnson, they're just doing it to try to boost up their shitty candidate being Trump or Hillary. I hate both Trump and Hillary. With a burning passion. And believe me, Trump would have struggled with that too. He didn't. He famously didn't know the difference between Hamas and Hezbollah. You can't do that in the primary, man. That, that's what happened. He didn't know the difference between the Kurds and the Quds Force. So he's... I, I would bet that Trump is even more ignorant than Gary Johnson on this stuff. But yeah, I don't give Gary Johnson a pass. Because... Like, your supporters, no matter what you said there, it's not like your supporters are going to go digging with a fine-tooth comb through whatever leader you pick. And say, he's not sufficiently libertarian, Gary, so why'd you pick this person? I mean, you could have went with Hollande from France. You could have went with Theresa May from the UK. Dude, even if you said David Cameron, I mean, he's not the prime minister anymore, but people would have given you a pass. So would say, yeah, he was just... It wasn't that long ago he was in there. Like, when Brexit happened, he's like, oh, I must step down. Uh, anybody. Justin Trudeau! How many times has fucking Justin Trudeau been in the news? In a positive respect, in the U.S. And you could say, okay, you know what? I like Justin Trudeau. I really don't agree with him on economics. Because he's leftist. But, you know what? Social issues? Agree with him completely. And dude, you're a libertarian. Libertarians on social issues are liberal. So that's it. You just wiggled your way out of it. No problem. As well threw in there at the end. Uh, Merkel. How about that? Instead, he's oh, the former uh, pr president of Mexico, whose name I don't know. And by the way, that guy was a disaster. <laughs> so that was a terrible... It's all, I think that was honestly the only foreign leader he could think of at that moment. So, uh, yeah, Gary, look, man, I dislike you much less than I dislike Trump and Hillary, but you got to get your shit together, dude. 
You got to do it. it. Like, this isn't, that's, you're running for president. You have to have, like, an answer easy to that, and you really didn't. 